Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Balkan Vugan here today with another video. I'm a bit tired because I've been playing Burnout Paradise on Steam so much. Apparently, uh, they shut down their online services, so in order to get to the point where I am now, I had to rush my way through the campaign. It took me forever to get through the campaign. But anyway, so today we're going to be showcasing a mod made by a friend of mine. Uh, not sure if his link will be down in the description, I will ask him about that later. But if you want to check out his mods, it might be in the description, it might not be. Who knows if this is even going to be a private mod, I haven't asked him about it yet. <laughs> so, uh, let's get right in on this, shall we? So today we're going to be unlocking, as you guessed by the title, we're going to be unlocking the Acceleracer's Power Rage in Burnout Paradise. So, I'm going to complete this race real quick. Son of a... I never claimed to be good at this game, alright? Son of a... Oh cool, we're alive. And that's also what I get for playing the original version of the game and not the remaster in 2022. So it's... Son of a bitch. I'm not good at this game, I'm not going to lie. Avoiding crashes is one of my worst aspects of the game. I'm very aggressive when I drive. Alright, I win. So, we're gonna unlock it. Obviously, since it's a mod, it's gonna look like that on the icons, because nothing we can do about that. But... Once we get back to the garage... My live slug reaction meter is going off. I can smell a live slug reaction anywhere nearby. Alright, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Power Rage in Burnout Paradise. My baby's in the game. This thing looks so sick. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just patting myself on the back since I'm the one who made the model, but... This genuinely makes me very happy as an AR fan. Not many games have the same vibe and, and sense of speed. Uh oh. Vert, no! Oh, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. What am I, JC? Am I gonna keep making Vert references the whole time? Sure, yes, of course I am. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm gonna do. That's, I, I don't even know what I'm saying more. It's like 3 30 in the morning or something. I don't even know what time it is. Look at my baby girl. Oh, oh. Let that be a lesson, kids. Never look back when you're driving. Only ever look forward at the cars in front of you, so this way you don't rear end somebody while you are driving at over 100 miles an hour in your Teku car. Because unlike regular cars, Teku cars are not insurable because they keep blowing up because some blonde guy keeps driving them into rocks and such. Alright, here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna kick shit up, we're gonna beat them up. See, this is what a, a Hot Wheels game should feel like, in my opinion, is have the, the Burnout Paradise aesthetic with the, the speed and the handling model, but have it so this way it's... Oh my god! That man killed himself in front of me, I don't know what was going on anymore. Oh my god. But, yeah, Burnout Paradise and Hot Wheels would have been great. But, nah, we're stuck with Forza. Which, you know, no, nothing's wrong with Forza, but... It's not, it's not nearly as fun as driving around Burnout, or Burnout Paradise, in my opinion. Let's do another race, get this over with. We're just gonna... Go through and try to get my elite Burnout Paradise driver's license while we're driving around. Because, obviously, this is a, an Acceleracer's reference. We are actually trying to get Vert's driver's license at the DMV before the events of World Race. Obviously, that's exactly what this is. Everybody knows that every racing thing ever is an Acceleracer's reference, right? Yep. Because Hot Wheels invented CG animation for uh, Acceleracers. So... Yeah, and they also invented cars, too, you know. Cars didn't exist before 1968, and the Teku are just the ultimate thing. Not even Koenigsegg can stand up to Teku. 
So everyone knows all that, right? Though, yep, that's just common knowledge in the in the world space of cars. Yep. I feel like I'm back in 2017 again. I haven't done a Hot Wheels Acceleracers mod video in a long uh, time. Speaking of Acceleracer mods though, if you guys want me to play other mods involving Hot Wheels Acceleracers, such as, like, I know there's a couple Hot Wheels cars in the Papega mod and such, maybe I could either stream those or make videos for them. That said though, uh, I'm not doing that unless people want me to, so- OH MY GOD, PEOPLE ARE KILLING THEMSELVES, OH MY GOD, OH MY GOD, WHOA, YOU NEVER KNOW, uh, I'm not, like, I'm not gonna be consistent with an upload schedule, because, obviously, I don't wanna ruin these kinds of mods for myself, so I'm not gonna play them every damn day, like, a lot of YouTube wants me to do for some reason, like, YouTube in general, OH MY GOD, And that cost me the race because Vert couldn't... He saw a rock, okay? That's... But yeah, I thought it was a rock and it was an Acceleracers reference. So now I just gotta speed by. Don't mind me. And as you guys can tell, this is uh, obviously the inline 4 that's in, uh, in Power Rage. That's obviously pushing only 430 horsepower, which somehow makes it go 300 miles an hour. So, uh... Leave down in the comment section your random and weird explanation for why cars with less than 2,000 horsepower can go 300 miles an hour. My answer is that it's bullshit. Hey, hey, stop trying to hurt my ride, my G. You guys are horrible at driving. Also, this game is kind of perfect for any kind of Hot Wheels mod because they literally got the voice actor from Battle Force 5 to do DJ Atomica. If you look it up, DJ Atomica plays Vert Wheeler in Battle Force 5, so... Yeah, this game's kind of perfect. Playing Power Rage while driving around listening to the voice of Battle Force 5. This game is literally... Mm -mm. You literally can't get much... Oh my god, you can't get much better than this. That's how you know a mod is done well, is when the car looks great. You know, patting myself on the back with the model, but also patting myself back on the back for the mod creator. Albino Buffalo is very good at what he does, and this would not have been possible without him. So, huge thank you to Albino Buffalo. Uh, again, I have to ask him if the mod is going to be public or not, but if it is, you will see a link in the description. If not, then it will not be. And that is completely fine if it's private, because that means that y'all go have to suffer and just watch and, and suffer, you know, that's how it be. Rat bastard trying to kill me. You know, you can't- Oh! And a jump! No, I kind of, kind of made, not gonna lie, kind of lame. You would think that that jump would have been Jujutsu Kaisen with how quickly I lost interest in it. Damn, damn. Oh no, I'm gonna get attacked in the comment section. For Jujutsu Kaisen fans, Gojo is- Oh no! But it's alright because content on YouTube, baby content- Oh my god! Oh shit, oh shit! So now while we're doing this little leisurely drive, I think now would be a good time to talk about uh, a story. Alright, here's a story. So, there I was, general voice chat on an undisclosed Discord server, drawing what seemed to be nice art. But then, and they started harassing me, saying things that I was doing were not things that I were doing. And I'm not even sure what the hell I'm saying. We're gonna head back to the junkyard real quick, take a good look at it with all its different options of paint. We'll, we'll go back to doing what I was doing before, which was... 10 dead doves in fog realm. Oh my god. Okay. Oh no. Yo. Oh. For no. Yo. That was the singing chain you ever seen in your life. Well, we can't have everything in the world, kids. Remember that. And there she is. In all her glory. Not many issues with this model as far as I can tell, but quite dang, that looks oh my god, it's so good. Green gang rise up. 
What the piss? What the? What is going on with this? What in the hell? Yeah, I, I love this mod. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know in the comments section. I know that most YouTubers tend to say, leave a like. But truth be told, likes don't mean jack shit to me. Even though they mean a lot to the algorithm, they don't mean much to me. I like to hear more about what you guys' thoughts are and, and just hear what the people that watch my videos are thinking. So, anyway, leave a comment, leave a like if you feel so inclined. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.